Stand in with our feet together. So just find a space where you can already stretch your arms forward, back, sideways. And just look at your feet, spread your toes out a couple of times, press them into the floor. And really try and lengthen your toes on the floor and keep them lengthened throughout. Do the same with the heels, lift them up a little bit maybe, and then drop them down. And do that a couple of times, lifting the heels up and dropping them down. Now feel four corners of your feet with your legs together, like if you had one rather than two, anchored into the floor. Relax your shoulders, maybe roll them all the way back, down, plug them into your armpits. Lengthen the back of your neck. Put your right hand on your chest and I'll mirror you. Left hand on the stomach. Maybe close your eyes or look down and start just breathing deeply. Breathe in and out through the nose. So as you breathe in, try and really push your chest out, your stomach out. And as you breathe out, try and sink the chest, push the stomach in. But try not to lose your height, your length. And keep going with that. Lengthening on the breath in. And exhaling, trying to keep the length, but really squeeze all the air out. And just for a couple more breaths, breathing in. And breathing out. Last deep breath in and out, holding maybe the breath in as you lengthen the stomach, the chest, and breathing out, dropping the chest, stomach in, dropping the arms too. Let's just lift the arms up now as you breathe in, stretch them up, try and lengthen all your body palms together. And as you breathe out, drop the arms down, drop the head down, relax the shoulders. And do that again, breathing in, lifting up. So you're stretching the fingers up, lengthening, Hold the breath in, maybe look forward though. Try and get your arms behind your ears, that's it. Exhale, drop the arms down, drop the head down, suck the stomach back. Two more times, breathing in, stretching up. Palms together, reach up a little bit more. Breathing out, drop the arms down. Try to lengthen the shoulders down, the head. Inhaling up, stretch the arms up now, keep them up. Interlace your fingers, press the palms up towards the ceiling and just lift the shoulders up and back down again as you breathe out. Do that again, breathing in, lift up. Breathing out, drop them down. Two more. Remember you're breathing in through the nose and breathing out also through the nose, squeezing the stomach in. One more, breathing in. And as you breathe out, plug the shoulders down, bring your hands behind your head, relax the elbows so they point towards the floor and push your head down loud, lightly with your hands. Try to look at your stomach, push it in on the breath out, try and go a little bit lower with the shoulders also, but keep pushing your hips forward. Do one more deep breath into the back of your body. And as you breathe out, drop the arms and start rolling all the way down. But bend your knees and articulate your spine all the way down to the floor. So you're in a forward bend. Hold it there. Maybe move the head, shake it to the right shoulder, to the left. Nod it a couple of times. And then on your next breath out, bend your knees and roll back up. We're going to roll down and up two more times. So breathe in. As you breathe out, first the head, then the shoulders. Really try and articulate your spine. Bend your knees so your stomach gets near your thighs. Try and keep the weight more on your toes than on your heels. Relax the head so the crown points towards the floor. Turn the chin to the right shoulder, to the left. Nod your head a couple of times. And then on the breath out, bend your knees and roll back up. We're doing one more. So breathe in. Breathe in out. First your head, let me see it this time. Then your shoulders, squeeze in. The stomach can articulate your spine on the way down. Let your arms hang away from your body. 
bend your knees so your stomach gets to your thighs. Turn your head to the right, to the left. Back to centre, nod it, hold it there. See if you can do a tabletop position. So bend your knees quite a lot and stretch your back like a table as you breathe in. That's it. And then breathe out, drop down again. And let's do that again, breathing in. Lift up halfway, look at the floor once you know what you're doing. And then exhale and drop down back into your forward stretch. We're doing two more. Breathing in, lengthening, breathing out, dropping down. One more, breathing in, lengthen, breathing out, drop down. On your next breath out, roll back up, one vertebra at a time. Let the head just relax, come up last. So you're looking forward lovely just let the head now look all the way up as you breathe in breathing out look forward and then exhaling still look down and again breathe in look forward then up all the way back breathe out forward and down keep doing that breathe in and up breathe out and down one more, breathe in, looking up, breathing out. Come back to centre with the head and tilt it to the side. Try not to move anything but the head. So as you breathe out, tilt it to the right. Breathe in, come back to centre and then go to the left as you exhale. That's it, breathing in, back to centre. Four more, exhale, try to anchor the shoulders away from your ears. Breathing in, back to center. Exhaling. Two more, breathing in. Breathing out. Last one, breathing in. Breathing out, hold it there. Open the legs about hip distance apart, bend the knees a little bit, and see if you can let the head just swing to a tilt to the right. So as you exhale, you're tilting to the right. Inhale there, exhale, roll, and tilt towards the left. Keep doing that, maybe involve your shoulders. So roll the shoulders too. Inhale to the side. Exhale, roll the shoulders. Inhale up. We're doing four more, take it to your time. Let the head really work with gravity. So feel the weight of the head as you roll it. Let it go. And one last one. Come back to center. Look forward, breathe in. As you breathe out, you've got four seconds, four counts to roll down. So you're rolling down for four, three, two, one. You're gonna stretch into a tabletop with your feet hip distance apart. You've got four seconds, three, two, and one, drop the body back into your forward stretch for four seconds. Three, two, and one, rolling up. Vertebrae at a time, squeezing the stomach in back to a stretched position. Let's do that again. Exhale, roll down for four, three, two, one. Stretch your back halfway. Four, three, two, one, let it go for four. Try and stretch maybe a little bit more the knee. Relax the hip. And rolling up for four seconds. Four, three, two, one more. Exhale down, breathing out. Roll the spine. Three and four. Stretch it halfway. Three and four relax it all the way try and see if you can get deeper <laughs> and four rolling up squeeze the stomach in relax the shoulders come back to stretch position we're going sideways roll for four seconds first the head shoulders three push the hips opposite side see if you can add your arm left arm four seconds three Go deeper, see if you can go lower, relax the head. Push it away now, left arm pushes away. Keep the head, three, 
and four. Coming back for four seconds. Three, two, breathe in. We're going to the left, same thing. Drop the head, then the shoulders. Push the hips forward, feet down, hold it there. See if you can get deeper as so you push the right arm left. To the left, three, and four. Other way, push it away, keep the stretch. Keep the stretch, relax the head. Take your time, coming back up for four seconds. Three, two, breathe in. We're going forward now, so you're going forward. Roll forward. Four seconds, stretch your back halfway. Three, four, and drop it down. Relax the head. Rolling up the four. Three, two. We're going one more time sideways. So to the right for four. Three, two. Let the head and shoulders go. Push now the left arm towards the right. Push the hips forward and to the left. Get deeper. Relax the head. Keep that, keep looking forward, it's a tilt, remember, push the arm away, take your time, drop the shoulders away from your ears, come up slowly, four, three, two, breathe in, and this back, so drop the head, and push the feet down, relax the shoulder, and enjoy it, and it's slow, but it's good for us to go slow, add that arm, stretch it, go to the left, your body, reach find stretch even your nails. Exhale the arm away. Take your press Coming back up. Three, two, well done. Coming back to the centre, roll down all the way down. Four seconds. Grab your opposite forearm to relax the head, and you want to do. Many swings here, at least 16 with the upper body. So you're trying to swing right and left with the weight of your body, helping you stretch that little bit more. So keep going, at least 16. So get comfortable in it. Four more. Three, two, one. Let it go. Open the legs up into a straddle-like position. So open your left, your right leg. Relax again the body. Hold your opposite elbows again and swing with your legs in a straddle towards the right, towards the left, towards the right, towards the left. Right, left, right, left. We're doing four more. Four, three, two, one, come back to the center, let go of your arms, roll up slowly, exhaling with your legs open this time, looking forward. We're going to do that same roll we just done, but with our legs open. So make sure that your knees don't bend here, but they bend open on top of your feet, parallel. Okay, we're rolling down, exhaling a little bit faster for four, three, two, one. Once you get down, stretch your back halfway. Four, three, two, one. Drop down for four, three, two, one. Roll up for four, three, two, one. To the right for four, three, two, one. Add arm. Push it back. Bring the body four. Three, two, one. Go to the left. Draw up the head, then the shoulders. Add the arm. That's the right one to the left. Push it away. Come back for four. Take your time. Three, two. We're doing one more. Roll down for four. Three, two, one. Stretch halfway. Three, two, one. Drop down for four. Three, two, one. Roll up for four. Come back to the center to the right. Four, three, two, one. Add the arm left to the right. Push the hips forward slightly to the left. 
See if you can go deeper, push it away. Come back up for four, three, two, last one. To the left, head, shoulder, add the arm. Reach, push the hips opposite way. Take the arm away. Come back, breathe in it. Back to centre, well done. Feet together. We're going into our sun salutes, the top part of it. So um, make sure your feet are together and then you're squeezing your arms into your ears. Try not to take your head back and hurt your neck. Be careful with that. At the front of our mat, we're going to repeat it three times. Palms together. Breathing in, lifting the arms up. Now here, don't throw the head back. Lengthen the back of your neck, lift the chest up, and just do a little back bend. Exhale, bend your knees, come into your chair, look forward, and then drop all the way down. Relax the head. Inhale, up halfway. Exhale, see if you can drop deeper, relax the head. Breathe in, bend your knees, palms together, all the way up. Breathe in and still, slightly back. Exhale into the chest center. Let's do that again, two more times. Breathe in, up, slightly back. Exhale, bend your knees, still looking forward. Find your chair and then drop down, all the way down. Relax the head. Good, up halfway, breathe in. Let it go, breathe out. Chair position, palms together, all the way up, breathe in. Keep the breath in, arms by your ears, don't take the head back. Exhale to the chest centre. We'll do the last one and then into our plank. So breathing in, up, slightly back. Breathe out, bend your knees, bend your elbows, sit back. Each time a little bit further back if possible. Then drop down. Breathe in, up halfway. Breathe out, press your hands into the floor, walk your feet back into your plank and just hold that plank position. Start to connect the core, push the floor away, don't sink into your shoulders, lengthen the back of your knees, your heels. Look towards the floor if you know what you're doing and just hold it a few more seconds. As you breathe in next, lift the hips up, try not to move your hands. Bend your knees, come into a downward dog, relax the head. Exhale, roll back into your plank position. We're doing that again. Breathing in, lift up. The hips, downward dog. Breathing out, roll forward. Last one. Breathing in. Breathing out. Now keep your knees on the floor, just drop them there. We're doing cat cow, so walk your hands right under the shoulders. Make sure again you're not sinking. Push the floor away. And just lift the chest up, look up as you breathe in. Breathe out, roll the spine, push the floor away and set the stomach back, relax the head. Again, breathing in, looking up, open the chest. Breathing out, roll the spine. Two more, breathing in. Breathing out. Last one, breathing in. Breathe in out. Now come back to a flat back. As you breathe out next, let's practice our chaturanga. So you want to lower your chest and your chin in front of your fingertips. Have a practice of that. The key is to squeeze your elbows into your ribs. Nice, nice Carla, that looks a lot better. And then you want to come back any way you want because that's not part of the sun salute, but just to try it again. We're gonna try it two more times, well done. So drop your chest and chin in front of your fingertips, squeeze your elbow, they should touch uh, your ribs one day. So chest and you're looking forward. I'm looking at you, but you're looking forward on your chin. And just go back. Lovely. One more, and we're gonna drag ourselves into a cobra. So use your hands to slide forward and squeeze your legs together. So you're dropping down, using your hands to drag forward and squeeze your legs together, point your feet into your cobra. I'm not using my hands, but I am squeezing my elbows back 
and towards each other, pushing my feet into the floor, squeezing them together. Try and push your hips into the floor. So now your hips are pushing down to lift your chest up. Keep breathing there, close your eyes or maybe look up and do two more deep belly breaths. One more, breathe in. And breathe out, forehead down, press the floor away. Plank, downward dog and 10 bounces in downward dog or have a break in child's pose. So if you're bouncing, push your chest back and just pulse it about 10 times. If that feels good, if not, just hold it. See what works for you. Let's do five more. Four, three, two, one. Hold your downward dog, we're doing that again. So as you roll forward, it's a plank. And then breathe in into your downward dog. Two more. Breathe in out. Okay. Breathe in it. Into your downward. Last one into your knees, chest, chin. So plank, knees, chest, chin, into your little cobra. Hold your cobra, but this time you're gonna lift your hands off the floor, reach them back, interlace them if you can, and really try and push your hands back towards your feet. Squeeze your feet up into the floor. Open the chest and just breathe deeply. About two more breaths. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more. Breathe in. As you breathe out, full head down, press the floor away. Clack. Down with go. Or a break in the child's pose. It's up to you. Ten little bounces if not. I'll count them. For ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Keep going. And hold your downward dog. We're doing one more round. So as you exhale, roll forward. Breathe in, lift up. Roll forward. Breathe in, up. Roll forward to stay forward. Knees, chest, chin, or hover it if you if that's your practice. Lengthen into same arms. Maybe lift the legs up too into an aeroplane. Squeeze your legs together. Lift the chest. Work the back of the body, hold it there, two more breaths. Breathe in it, breathe in it. One, breathe in, breathe out, let it go. Push the floor away, keep your knees on the floor, come into your child's bed. So now stretch the back, relax the head, breathe deeply there. Remember to try and keep your full head as close to the floor as you can. You can even put it on a book or on a cushion. And if your forehead touches the floor, you're trying to get the tip of your nose to touch the floor also. One more deep breath there, breathe in it. And breathe in out. Lovely. We're going to go into a few warrior sequences. So same, same pattern, but we're gonna lift the right leg up and you've got the choice to do your chaturanga with the right leg up. It's up to you. I'll talk you through it. We're lifting up into your downward dog. Once you're there, three times with the right leg all the way up, three-legged dog. So that will be your breath in. Breathe out, drop it down. Breathe in, lift. Breathe out, drop. One, lift. Can you hold it up? Eight seconds, seven, six. Stretch the knee if you can. Flex the toes or point them, but decide what you're doing, no half ways. Now you can keep the leg up and try and shift forward into your plank just once and do a chaturanga from there. Or do it just like before, knees, chest, chin. It's up to you. Lengthen forward. This time you're gonna open up into an upward dog three times. Exhale, drop down. One more, breathe in. Breathe out. Last one, breathe in. Now as you breathe out, bend your knees, keep them on the floor, push back and step your right foot forward. So I'm here, I'm mirroring you. 
remember. I'm in a kind of box lunge with my right foot forward. That's it. My left leg is back. And what, what we're trying to do is either put things on our, under our hands to really hold the floor, keep engaged with the floor with the hands, and just lengthen up as much as your back leg will stretch and your front leg. That's your breath out, and then drop back down again. See if you can keep your forehead by your knee, so you're stretching your spine. So forehead to knee, stretch back, and then breathe in, let it go. And we're doing five of these, so take your time, breathing out, breathing in, lengthen, lengthen the spine too on the breath in, exhaling, inhaling, one more to hold it, yeah, so stretch the back leg, forehead to knee, and just hold it there, see if you can push the floor away with your hands, so it helps you curl the spine a little bit more. Push your left, um, your right hip forward and your left leg hip back. Keep going. Keep breathing into the back of your body. You've got your right leg forward, so it's your right hip forward and your left hip. Your right hip back and your left hip forward. Hold it there just a couple more seconds. And then on your next breath in, find your warrior two position. So anchor the left foot into the floor. Windmill your left and your right hand. Remember, I'm mirroring you. Exhale, look to the front hand. Inhale, stretch your leg and your arms. And do that three more times. So as you breathe out, you're looking forward. Breathing in, stretching out. Exhale. Inhaling up. Last one. Exhaling. Inhale. Keep the legs stretched. Open the arms up. Try and reach forward with your right arm. But keep the knees, the thighs engaged. When you can't anymore, drop that right arm down. Lift the left arm up. Remember you're trying to push your hips forward and your chest back. That's it. Stretch your legs, but don't lock the knees. Try not to sink, but lengthen your spine. And maybe look up, see so if you can relax your shoulders away from your ears. And do one deep breath into your left lung. Breathe in. Breathe out, hold it there, hold it there. See if you can go deeper, go on. And then breathing in, come back up, keep those legs. We're doing the same thing, reversing it backwards. So see if you can push your hips now forward towards the right foot. And reach back. Try not to sink. Lengthen out of your hips. Keep your spine long. And walk your left hand down your leg. Stretch your knees. Push your hips forward. Bring your left shoulder forward. Maybe you look up to your right palm. Breathe deep. Your right palm faces the floor. It's reaching towards the back wall. Four more seconds there, guys. Three, two, one. And coming back up, well done. Relax, turn, twist, back to the floor. Two hands, step yourself back, all the way back. Push your chest back and into your downward dog. Bounce it there, about 10 bounces or child's pose, it's up to you. Try and relax the head. Five more bounces. Four, three, two. And one, hold it there. We're doing the same with the left leg. So you're gonna lift the left leg up and down three times. Breathe in, breathe out, drop down. Breathe in, lift, breathe out. That's two. One more. Hold it up, eight seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. And one, shift into your plank. You can drop the leg, remember, or keep it up. And do your chaturanga there. Three upward dogs. Breathing in, lift up. Breathing out, drop down. Two more. Breathing in. Breathing out. That's one. Breathing in. And now as you breathe out, keep your knees on the floor. Push back onto your hands and knees. And step your left foot forward. I'll mirror you towards the other side. 
So your left foot is forward, your hands are on the floor or the books, and you're going to just push back and try and stretch your right leg, your back leg, and then breathe in, come back with the knee gently on your leg and your spine. Remember, it's forehead to knee, so breathe out, forehead to knee, relax the head, breathe in. Lengthen the spine, breathe out, breathe in. Breathe in. Two more. Breathe out. Breathe in. Hold it as you stretch. Hold it for a few breaths with your forehead against your knee. Try and relax the shoulders that you're pushing the floor away. Lengthen the back leg. When you're ready, press your back foot, your right foot into the floor. You're doing your warrior two. So right arm, one nose, left arm. Warrior two as you exhale, you're looking to your middle finger, your left middle finger, and then breathing in. You're stretching arms and legs. Exhale, bend it. Inhale, stretch up, lengthen. So it's the left leg forward. That's it. The right leg back. You got it. Two more. Breathing out as you bend. Push that knee back, back in space. That's it. One more, one last one. Exhale. Now as you breathe in, stretch your legs, keep them stretched. Open the arms up. Reach forward and push your hip, your right hip back. Reach forward, find space, and then drop the arm, but don't sink. Lengthen because you'll be able to get more into that stretch as you lengthen the spine. So if you can look up towards the right hand, squeeze your glutes. I think your legs might be a bit too wide, Carla. That's why you're finding it hard. Keep them a bit more narrow. That's it. That looks better. Stretch your knees. One more deep breath. Good. Coming back up on the breath in. Change your hips, so now your hips want to push forward, you're reaching back, same position, but to the back, ground your feet, stretch your knees. If you can, look up towards your left hand, the palm faces the floor, and you're reaching to the back wall that you have. So all over your head, yeah, that's it, leg off, all the way. Plug the feet into the floor, push the hips forward, lengthen the spine, one more deep breath. One last one. And coming back. Well done. Drop the arms down. We're doing another chaturanga. So push back. Plank. Knees, chest, chin. Or find your way into the floor. It's time to stay here. So don't upward dog it. Just stretch your arms forward. Open the legs about hip distance apart. And forehead on the floor. We're going to lift for eight seconds, the right leg and the left arm. Forehead on the floor, inhale, lengthen and hold it there for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one. Drop it down, take a moment. Let's go with the left leg and the right arm. So you're lengthening them away from each other for eight seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release it, shake the hips a little bit. We're doing both arms and both legs. Really feel like you're lengthening more even than lifting. So for eight seconds, lengthen. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Press your forehead into the floor, slide your shoulders down. And one. Good. Release. Bring the arms by your sides, by your hips. Turn your head to the right shoulder and just take a moment here. First of all, use it as a neck stretch. So see if you can slide your shoulders down, turn your head a little bit more, relax. Then you want to grab your left foot, the opposite foot, if you can. 
with your hand, if not with maybe a belt or a sock, and bring it towards your glute. Push your hips into the floor and just breathe there. One more deep breath. Let it go. Let's do the same on the other side. So turn your head the other way. The foot. Actually, give yourself a second to make sure that your head is actually turned, your shoulders are relaxed. And once you've settled the head, the shoulders, then take your attention to your, to your leg. You're stretching the thigh. Don't let your knees open too much. Push your pubic bone into the floor lightly. Maybe bend your elbow if you've got a good grip of your foot. And just hold it there, just a few seconds. And then let it go. So we're going to do a bow, a bow position, a bow position. Um, see if you can grab both of your feet. And if not, just find a position where you reach back. Yes, if you can grab both of your feet, we're going up and down three times, holding it the third time for three breaths. Okay, so you're grabbing your feet and you're gonna try and lift up. We'll do it two times and this can be our rehearsal. Keep your knees about hip distance apart. So you wanna breathe in, lift up, look up, and then breathe out, drop down and look to the right, but don't let go of your feet. And again, breathe in, lift up. Breathe in up, drop down. And we're doing one more to hold it up. Breathe in, lift up, to hold it up for eight seconds. Keep breathing. Seven, six, five. Try and shift your weight forward, but keep looking up. Four, keep looking up. Three, two, one. And release the legs, release the feet. Again, let go of the feet, hands by your sides, and just shake your hips a little bit, right and left. Let them release. So that was the rehearsal. We're gonna do one more, but we're going to try and hold, if you are gripping your, or grabbing your feet, try and hold the inside, and maybe widen the knees a little bit more as you go up. So to hold the inside, I would say, grab the sides of your feet like you did before, Walk your hand all the way up and into the inner arch of the foot. So the soft part of your elbow is facing out and I'll check now and do the same with the other leg. That's how I best can explain it from here, I think. And then let's do it. Let's do it and I'll check the last one. So you're gonna breathe in, lift up. You should find it's a bit looser here. And then breathe out, turn your head to the right. Breathe in, lift up. Try and stretch your legs and let them lift your chest. Breathe up, drop down. One more to hold it up. Breathe in and lift up to hold up. Let me see it. Stretch your legs so much that they lift your chest. Squeeze your inner thighs, your knees. Don't let them open up. Your foot should be over your knee too. Try to keep your weight forward a little bit more. Four more seconds, go on. Three, two, one and release it well done let go of your feet shake your hips a little bit and turn your head to the left hold it there when you're ready push your hands into the floor see shape your spine and come into your child's pose but walk your hands to the right side of your mat Slightly lean your hips towards the left. Relax the whole back. Breathe deeply. One more deep breath. Breathe in. Breathe in out. Now walk yourself to the other side of your mat. To the left, try and drop the right shoulder down. Sink the hips back a little bit more. And just breathe deeply there. One more deep breath. Breathe in. And breathe in out. 
coming back to the centre. We're going to try rabbits again. We did it last week. Um, it's nice to stretch all the neck area, but just be careful, see how it feels. Um, if not, do a child's pose, but if you can, grab the sides of your feet. It's, your feet are together like a child's pose, but your thumbs are out, grabbing your feet. You're going to roll down till your arms stretch. Roll down one vertebra at a time. Get the crown of your head on the floor and then lift your hips up. Squeeze your knees together and see if you can lift your hips up and try and get your forehead near your knees. So it's kind of like a headstand position or variation. So if you've got any questions, ask me, I'll do it with you and then check you out. So holding your ankles, thumbs are outside of your ankles. We're breathing in here at the top. And as you breathe out, try and curl first the chin and the shoulders all the way down. Forehead to knee and then lift the hips up. Keep the top of your head on the floor. Maybe walk your knees a little bit closer to your forehead. Try and hold your feet tight so that if you didn't hold them tight, you'd be doing a roly pole literally. Keep your feet on the floor and breathe now deeply into the back of your body. Your toes are together, ideally. Breathing in, that's it, Perla. Once you've found the position, try and just focus on the breath and the back of your body. Do one more deep breath there, breathing in. And breathing out. Lovely. And then let it go by rolling back to a sitting position and coming into a straight spine. Right hand on the chest, left hand on the stomach. Just take a moment to either look down or close your eyes and just connect with your breath, with your heartbeat. Just five more seconds so you can just keep still. And when you're ready, let go of the arms. Shift your legs forward. We're going to stretch the legs for sitting. So a pigeon position, sitting. You could always do this with your back on the floor if your lumbar spine is hurting. But try and see if you can sit and grab your foot, your right foot with your left hand and your right kind of thigh with your right hand. And just try and move your leg out and in. So you're turning your leg out turning in, out and in, out and in. So rather than swinging forward and back, you're trying to do that Charlie Chaplin position and then parallel with the knee. So your knee would look to the side of the room and then to the ceiling, yeah? Side and ceiling, that's it. And if you're a bit looser, you could try and grab with your elbows, your legs. It's a bit harder. Same thing. You're trying to turn in, turn out, turn in, turn out. So see where you want to take it, hands or elbows. Just a couple more. Now see if you can keep your right hand on the floor and your left hand will hold your right foot. And just roll on your glute muscle, on the right glute, trying to roll, massage it, um, if you find any nodules or any lumps, try and just put pressure on them. Maybe hold it there. Do a couple more rolls. One last one. Now come back with your hands, grabbing your foot. Try and keep your elbows wide and your shoulders down. And just see if you can bow to your foot, maybe even bring your foot toward your forehead. For two deep breaths. So trying to really blow the stomach out and in. Doesn't matter where the head goes, but just bow to your foot, relax the head, slide the shoulders down and bring the leg towards you. One more deep breath here. Breathing in. Breathing out. Lovely. Come back, straight spine. Lengthen that leg, or that heel, right heel, onto the floor. So you're sitting, I don't know if you can see me with the mat. Stretching halfway the right leg, and bending the left leg into kind of a tree position. 
Now you want to roll your forehead again towards your right knee and grab your foot, grab it tight. Keeping your forehead on your right knee or as close as it will go. See if you can walk your right heel forward, maybe yes, maybe not. And just hold it there. Wherever your limit is, where you can still concentrate on your breath, keep your forehead by your knee and good grip of your foot. Now breathe into the back of your body again. Try to relax your head so you're breathing in. Open in the back of the body, breathing out, try and relax a little bit more, two more, breathing in, breathing out, one more, breathing in, good, breathing out, hold it there, you're just going to twist your body towards the left side of the room, bring your right hand inside of your right, of your right leg, and twist towards the left side of the room, that's it, See if you can lift the left arm up, maybe over your head, reaching towards your toes or towards the front of your mat. Relax your head, breathe into your left lung there, breathe in, breathe in, in it. breathe in, and relax the shoulders. One more deep breath, breathe in, breathe in. Coming back, all the way up, lovely, change your legs around, so we're doing straight away the other leg, so we're starting in your, in a comfortable seat, where you can grab your left leg with either your hands, and turn it out and in, and remember you can do this lying down, so lying down it would be here, you feel your back hurts, If you can grab it with your elbows and move one way and the other, it's slightly different, but it's the same muscle that you're stretching all the side of the, of the knees. Now, once you've woken it up a little bit, grab your left leg with your right hand and your left hand will be on the floor, just helping you roll back and forth onto your left glute notice if there's any points where there's tension where you should keep maybe a little bit of pressure or more time on and when you've done four or five six come back to center try and grab with both of your hands your foot or your ankle your leg but keep it turned out in that pigeon like position lift it up as much as it will go shoulders down elbows open and then bow towards your foot so you can look at your stomach here, blow it out as you breathe in, breathe out, squeeze it in. Do one more, breathe in it, breathe in out. Coming back to straight position, put that left heel on the floor, relax the shoulders, let go of the leg, forehead to your knee, grab your feet, your ankle, somewhere where you can grab tightly and then maybe walk that left heel forward. See how far you can get, keeping your forehead on your knee, that's the condition, and grabbing your feet still tight so you can use your arms, not your shoulders, to bring you closer to the left. Let's do one more deep breath there, breathing in. Breathe in. And then turn in to the right side of the room. Bring your left hand in front with your right leg. And you'll go with your right hand over your head, relaxing the head, maybe looking up towards the ceiling and twisting the upper body towards the ceiling, breathing into your right lung and holding it there. Try and think of three deep breaths as you breathe in Blow the right lung out, breathe out, squeeze your ribs in. I'm trying to consider the music that we've gone wrong for so A couple more deep breaths. Breathing out, 
One last one. Will you try and breathe into that lung, the top lung, the one that's closer to the ceiling? Fill it with air and then breathe out. And then coming back up, sit on your centre on both sitting bones, bend both legs, see if you can bring your forehead to both knees, grab your feet, once your forehead is on your knees, I know it's not comfortable, it might not get there today, but really bend your knees to get there, like a child's pose, then see how much you can walk your feet forward, keep your forehead there, it really doesn't matter how much you stretch your legs, about how much you can c-shape your spine and stretch in between your vertebrae. So forehead to knee and just working a deep breath using your arms to get further into the stretch. Two more breaths. Breathing in. Breathing out. One more, breathing in, breathing out, and then rolling up on your next breath in to roll back, vertebrae at a time, and it's up to you where you want to go here, go to a bridge position, especially if your neck is a little bit tender, or if you're comfortable with your plow, come into your plow, and just find your, your position today. Remember, every day is different. So um, just see how your neck is, your shoulders. Wherever you've chosen, three deep breaths, try not to fidget. So you breathe in, so you can lift a little bit more of the hips push them back in space if you're in that class. One more deep breath. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe out. Breathe in. 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 Breathe if not, put your legs up against the wall and let them drain. The idea is to calm the heart now, letting the blood flow freely back with the help of gravity. And just see if you can close your eyes wherever you are, breathe, concentrate on the breath. If you are in a shoulder stand, squeeze your elbows a little bit closer. Try pushing your feet towards the front of your mat, and your hips towards the back of your mat. That's it, Carla, that's it, the hips, that's what your hips need to do. Keep looking for that, that's perfect. Be patient, be patient. That's where you're going though, that little movement is a lot. If you push your feet a little bit further forward, that might help, and then eventually switch your elbows a little bit closer, but it's step by step, you're doing it nicely. When you're ready to come down, guys, remember you've got ways of coming down, depending on the posture you are. You've been practicing that diamond, then a straddle, then a plow, and then a roll. Once you do land on your back, we're finishing with a fish. We're stretching your arms under your hips, lengthening your legs. We worked this one out nicely last time. You want to put weight on your elbows, lift the chest up, and then widen the elbows as much as you need to to get the top of your head, the top of your head against the floor. So you need to throw your head all the way back, all the way back, so you're looking to the back wall, literally. Stretching your legs and then lifting your chest, that's it. That's it, all the way back. I think if you stretch your arms or sit on your um, arms a little bit more, it might help. 
Spider Carlo next. Yes. If you've done at least three to five breaths here, come down. But if you can do a few more, that's great. It really opens the lungs, opens the chest area, always at computer, so it's the opposite to that, which is very good for all of us. When you need to come down, roll onto the back of your neck, do a quick twist um, by stretching your left leg over your right, crossing, better said, maybe double crossing and letting your legs drop to the right as you look to the left. And just holding a couple of deep breaths here. One more deep breath. Coming back up. Changing the cross so your right leg will be on top of your left, crossed or double crossed, or maybe not even crossed and just squeezing your legs together. Let your legs drop to the left, look to the right, breathe deep. One more deep breath. And then coming back through the center, stretching our legs. I like to grab my head here and just bring it forward a little bit. Swing it or rotate it right and left. Stretch the neck a little bit. See what you feel like doing. Maybe a headstand, maybe an arm, maybe a cartwheel, whatever it is, do it. And then come into your savasana. So we're going to do one minute together. Just closing the eyes, trying to imagine that you fainted. That's um, a good, similar feeling to the one in Savasana. Try to just relax, be aware of things, but not wrapped into them. And just for one minute of stillness, observing our breath, our body, I'm going to leave you there, hoping that you might stay there for a couple of minutes more and enjoy it. I'll see you next week. Have a lovely weekend. See you soon.